After my last video showed off the NASA GPS's return to home autopilot feature, a few people have asked me how I set up failsafe mode on my Spectrum DX6i. The DX6i does not have a three position switch, so to get a third flight mode you have to program the transmitter's channel mixer. First we'll set up the gear switch to activate the attitude and GPS flight modes. Then we'll program the mix switch to act as a virtual third position on the gear channel. This way we can activate a force failsafe mode to get the NASA to return to home. Make sure you have your NASA controlled multicopter powered up and connected to your computer running the NASA setup software. When I first turned on my DX6i transmitter, the pointer for the control mode switch did not line up accurately on any one mode. To fix this, make sure the gear switch is pushed back. Then open the menu on the transmitter and adjust the sub trim of the gear channel. Adjust until the control mode indicator in the NASA software is centered and the attitude mode selector turns blue. Exit the subtrim menu and enter the travel adjust menu. The gear channel will show 0%. Flick the gear switch forward and the value should change to 100. Notice the control mode indicator has moved but does not line up with the GPS mode. Change the gear channel travel adjust until it locks into GPS mode in the NASA software. Now, working the two-position gear switch should switch the NASA between attitude and GPS modes. Next, we'll set up the mix switch to act as a third position on the gear channel and adjust it to activate a manual failsafe mode. Go to the Mix 1 menu and activate it. Set the master channel to gear. Then set the slave channel to gear also. Assign this mix to the mix switch. With these values, the mix switch will activate 100% of the current gear switch configuration. That is, it will switch between attitude and GPS when activated. To make the mix switch activate failsafe mode, adjust the up value to 50%. Then when the mix switch is activated, the mode indicator should land right in the middle of the failsafe mode, turning it blue. So now when you're in GPS mode and you use the mix switch, you have a manual failsafe mode. Now that you have the control mode switches set up to give you a failsafe selection, go to the autopilot tab and choose what behavior your copter should execute when the failsafe mode is activated. You can either have your copter go into auto landing mode or return home and land. I hope this works as well for you as it has for me.